Hey everybody, this is Coach Ryland from GoSleeveless.com here with episode 3 of Ask Coach Ryland. Today's question comes from Pam, and Pam asks, Ryland, do I burn the same amount of calories if I walk or run for an hour, or if I walk and run for a mile? So what Pam is asking is, are the same amount of calories burned if you walk a mile or you run a mile? So if the distance is the same, do you still burn the same amount of calories regardless of intensity? And the same thing for time. So if you walk or run for the same amount of time, do you burn the same amount of calories? And that is a resounding no. And that's a really important question, so thanks for sending that in, Pam. Um, what this comes down to is intensity. So if you're walking or running, you're working at two completely different intensities. And intensity is the key for burning calories. The higher your intensity, the more energy your body requires, the more energy you burn, the more calories you burn. So everything else being equal, the harder you work, the more calories you burn. That's exactly why somebody can work out for an hour a day on a treadmill and never lose any weight because it's such low intensity. If you're able to sustain something for an hour, if you're able to go on a treadmill for an hour, your intensity cannot be that high. High intensity means you can only sustain that for maybe 20 minutes. And if that is the case, then you're not gonna burn near as many calories if you're working at a low intensity. So if you're doing a workout that lasts an hour on a treadmill, it's not high intensity, you're not gonna be burning that many calories. And time comes into effect here too. So it doesn't matter the time that you work out. You know, you could work out for an hour walking or an hour running. If you're running for an hour, if you can do that, you're gonna burn exponentially more calories than if you just walk for an hour, okay? So again, this all boils down to intensity and you've heard me talk about it before, intensity is really key. Now, some people get a little frightened when I say you have to work out at high intensities, but we have to remember is that intensity is relative. That means for somebody who is an athlete, high intensity is going to mean something completely different for somebody who's a complete novice, right? So if you've never worked out in your life and you try and walk on a treadmill for 20 minutes, that might be high intensity for you. It all relates to your heart rate, your personal intensity level, not the absolute resistance or speed or whatever you're using. So for instance, for me, running at six miles an hour on a treadmill is pretty average. It's not high intensity. For some people, running at six miles an hour would be beyond high intensity. They just couldn't do it. And yet others can run at nine miles an hour, and that's not high intensity. So it really depends on you as a person. And again, because this all boils down to intensity, intensity is what burns calories, that's the most important thing. So don't worry about how much time you're spending working out. And remember, in the Go Sleeveless program, I have you working out for maybe 20 to 30 minutes when you do your workouts. That's combined strength training and cardio. So time is not the factor here. And I'm also not worried about distance or anything like that. So when I give you a cardio workout, you're not expected to go to, for a certain distance. You're expected to go for intensity. So you'll do, say, two minutes, high intensity, two minutes, low intensity, that sort of thing, right? And again, because this is completely relative, don't worry when I say high intensity. For High intensity for you might be walking up a set of stairs. It also might be sprinting full out down the street as fast as you can go. I explain all of that and how to find your intensity levels in the Go Sleeveless program. So if you're confused about that, check out your program again. It will explain it in detail. The other important point to this question is that we're not solely concerning ourselves with the amount of calories that are burned in the workout. When you do low intensity workouts, when you finish the workout, that's where the calorie burning stops, right there. Workout's done, calories are burned, nothing else is gonna happen after that. When you do high intensity training, so high intensity interval training and strength training, you're actually ramping up your metabolism and you're triggering hormones that will allow you to burn more calories throughout the rest of the day. Okay, so I talked about that in the last episode and how you get that afterburn effect and you're going to burn calories throughout the rest of the day. And that's how I related to uh, the time of day that you should be working out, be morning being the best time because then you can take advantage of that calorie burning throughout the rest of the day. Here we have to remember the same thing. It's not about the calories you're burning in that workout, although that is important. We also have to concern ourselves with the amount of calories you're burning after your workout. You need to get your body working for you. So that means high intensity workouts, you're gonna burn calories during that workout, but then you're also triggering calorie burning throughout the rest of the day. So don't concern yourself so much with distance, and certainly don't concern yourself with the exact time, but do concern yourself with intensity. Higher intensity is better for calorie burning and for increased metabolism, and also that allows you to shorten your workouts. 
Okay, so hopefully that answers the question. And thanks for sending that in, Pam. That's a great point. And I will talk to you very soon again on the next episode of Ask Coach Ryland.